Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Miss, otherwise known as Man Like You, I mean better known as Man Like You. And uh, yeah, welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, we had a mission, I started recording an episode, but yeah, we should just go in to gather food and that's just basically, I don't want to bore you, that's the boring part, so I just went and got it already. All right, happy hunting! So yeah, uh, hand over to collect the items. Um, I mean, I had most of the items anyway, so it's fine. Chichi, will this do for the ingredients? You didn't hand her anything. Back already? <laughs> That's my husband for you. <laughs> Can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses. <laughs> the thing is, I, again, I rambled about I don't like. Ta-da! Finish. Thank you. I, I rambled, uh, rambled a, a bit about uh, that I don't like the fact that I put this in the main series. Um, of the game, like the, uh, something you actually have to do, not a side mission. Oh my god, I didn't give a, get a, a big jump scare there, but thank you for the subscribe. Um, but yeah, I don't think they should put this as in, a, in the main story, but oh, that's just wow. me. wow! It smells delicious! I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man! I can't wait. Honestly, I don't know who people who get excited like this. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. All right. Then let's get going. All right. Wait. She went out to get a. Oh my God! We're driving been a car. It's ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun. Wait. I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus, a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is it? that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku, remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? I've seen that. Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Bancho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. She's a crazy, crazy woman. <laughs> huh? That's, really? That sounds a bit mad. <sighs> Such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. She didn't look worried by the cutscenes, I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry, I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for- Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. That's you two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. I want to drive. Let me get, get me behind the wheels. Hmm. What should I do now? Go study. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. I don't know. Someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. But Hello? basically, this is Gohan. Th this is not in the main story. This is just filler, and I don't. I'm not really a fan of it. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Nope. Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Yep. Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the oh. android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? <sighs> I swear to God, we're right. Got it. Hopefully, uh, something I've already got. Gohan. Honestly, I don't this know why. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. Yes, it is. All right. I don't know why they're putting this in the main story, really, because ah. Uh... I don't like that. Alright, so we need to get some mem memorite, whatever that is. But it is on the map though. So yeah, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. It should be near. Right over 
here. Alright, let's see if we can find this. Ah, I think I found it. I remember the very first stream that I did. I was very confused because I didn't know the menus or anything. This must be what Bulma was talking about. So, I don't know if any of you guys saw it. It was embarrassing because I was so confused. Oh, and the guy is in the... What's it called? In the... The Twitch? No, that's what, what I'm on about. The YouTube uh, chat. They made fun of me. Because I still don't know how to do stuff. It was the first time I played the game. Come on, man. Alright, let's see where's the last. Where's the last little... Little rascal. Wait, is that it? Is that it? No, that's a freaking... That's a memory. We don't care about the memories. Anyways, I'm not even in the zone right now. Oh no, I'm getting nightmare. Oh, it's hot. It's hiding up here. That is why, guys. If you're behind the screen just yelling at me right now, I completely understand. <laughs> Alrighty then. Head toward West City on the world map. Do you know what? Let's go do that. Uh, West City. Oh, that's far away, you know. That's far away. Alright. Only nine days remain until the dreaded Cell Games, despite being the Goku Cell. No, well, I've already read that in the previous episode. Ah, never mind then. I mean, you guys know know the story anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now take this back to Capsule Core. Shut up. Can I five key pass? Come on. What's up, Bulma? Hi, Bulma. Is this everything? Yep. Looks like it. Uh, uh, hey, what's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? No, I'm freaking Santa Claus. I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I mean, it's just like you haven't even seen Goku go Super Saiyan. Or he, her husband, Vegeta, go Super Saiyan. Or her kid go Super Saiyan. I'll bet. I mean, look uh... at you. <sighs> well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. Nope. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kind of numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Yeah, that was we. We, we were just the delivery boy. Come uh, on, man. You're welcome. Uh... And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here. Do you want to watch me fix the android up? All right. I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Sure, no oh. problem. Uh, no problem. All right, so let's see how Android 16 is actually doing right now. Because the last time we saw him, he had that, you know, big ass hole in his head because of cells. So this is an android. These things were built to kill dad. There we go. Yeah. It's done? Mm hmm. Almost. The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, but it's what gives the android life. Memorite. We stick it in the cranial chamber here and. And you should be good to go. <laughs> Voila! Mm, analyzing situation. He has the most epic voice. He's online. Hey, you! Got a name? I am Android 16, scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. Yeah? His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back! You did it, guys! Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Go on. Uh, hello? Searching. Data profile found. Ooh. Go on. Son of Goku. Goku, who he were, were assigned to kill. Hey now, mister. Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him. He is irrelevant. My target is Goku, not his offspring. That's so. Okay, I guess I can live with that. <clears throat> he's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. 
Hmm. Well, I don't see a problem with that. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? It sounds like a pedophile. Um, okay. Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. All right, so are we fighting against the Android 60? I will go on ahead. Find me in the forest. I reckon we are. We, I reckon we're going to fight the... Uh, Counting on you, Junior. I reckon we're going to fight the right. The thing is, I've watched Team 4 Star so much. Oh, head towards West City. We were in West City. Um, the thing is, I've watched Team 4 Star so much that I sometimes get it mixed with the real story. And didn't they remove his, um, was it, was like his assignment, like, you know, all the computer stuff, to kill Goku? Am um, I wrong about that? I might just be wrong about that, but hey. Oh, they j might just have, you know, altered this story to fit it better. I don't know. Both, both things can work, really. It doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go fight, uh, let's go fight him. He is hiding in the bush. Yes, lad. Ah, oh, it's So, how's that body of yours? Mm. <laughs> I got a level. Satisfactory. Cool. Diagnostics indicate 100% functionality. Glad to hear that. Um. Uh. Wait. Doesn't uh. they run away when they see you? <laughs> so, do you like animals? Affirmative. They put me at ease. I like animals too. All sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. I mean, he will. By the way, are you really out to k kill my dad? Affirmative. That is my only directive. I have no other use. As a result, I was declared defective and stored away. Huh? I loathe conflict. Therefore, as a weapon, I am defective. That's no reason to shut you down. Dr. Giraud once said he made me in the image of his deceased son. Yeah, that's like a whole story, but... But he it. was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is nothing but a failure. D don't say that. It's the truth. Ha <laughs> oh, poachers. So this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. Who are you people? They're just folks looking to make a gosh darn fortune off of pelts. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we'd fight all these furs in one spot. They're poachers. Go on. Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing. Wait, are we fighting? Oh, are we just fighting the robots? Okay, that's fine. Oi, they can shoot. So they are no match. Yes, lad. Alright. One left. You know what? Let, let's finish this with a. Uh, let's finish this with a. Um, yeah, what should we finish it with? Uh. Super Dragonfly. There we go. That's powerful. I mean, 16 didn't do anything. Not a thing about it. He didn't do anything. You folks are crazier than a dog in a hubcap factory! Shut up. Threat neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals, as well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies for not thanking you sooner. Oh, it's no big deal. Hmm. The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. I foresee you becoming the deciding factor Ooh. in the outcome of the Cell Games. Already? Me? But my dad's way stronger. <laughs> we are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are 16 and I alike? Yeah, how are they alike? He's a, he's a robot. Go? Exceptional. I am fully operational thanks to you. Nice job out there, boys. 
I heard you rounded up some poachers. Whoa, Whisper rounds out fast. Bet you socked him something fierce, huh? What morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android? Ha! It was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly, I haven't done anything. Ah, uh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? Okay. We, we were sure. we were supposed to, to meet Goku and Chi Chi at like a what's it called? Oh, uh, I got the following emblem. Yeah, Android 16. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. We were supposed to meet the uh, Goku and Chi Chi at like this picnic spot, something like that. I don't know. This is this story sometimes with all the fillers they try to put in. It's it's. I'm not keen on all of oh. it. I like the game, but you know. So yeah. So Gohan's at Bulma's. I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night too. Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub, but nothing beats your home cooked meals. That's true. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. Really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Uh, oh, I'm getting so embarrassed. Oh man, come on! That that was that was kind of odd. Odd cutscene. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that that was weird. Shortly after Gohan had returned home, we've just received breaking news. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. Damn. Yeah. How terrible! How would they even go against Those him? Come on. We're innocent people. <sighs> that monster. I mean, to be fair to Cell, I mean, even though Goku said he shouldn't kill anybody, they approach him. You know, they came up to Cell. So Cell, so I'm not defending his choices, but you know, he wasn't seeking to fight. They were. <clears throat> Just saying. Chi Chi, I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. Goku. And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. Yeah, what was it? I can't even remember. I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. All right. Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Why not do that after they defeat Cell? Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, We'd have a new guardian. That's right. They could pick up Dende. You know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby. That's a wonderful idea. Wait here. Fingers crossed. <laughs> he just randomly With goes. With King through. Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in on the Namekian survivors' new home world. Upon arriving via instant transmission, Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. Dende. It was none other than... The huge ass sense of being. Dende. <laughs> Dende? Piccolo, it's been too long. Wait one sec. I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy. In a jiffy? I, I haven't heard that before. That's that, I didn't like that. What? Then they. <laughs> Guys, meet Earth's new guardian. Uh, is that really you, Dende? It's been ages. It really has been. Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin, Gohan, it's great to see you two. Are you? Are you really going to be the new guardian? That's right. I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. 
Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes. So, would we be able to wish back multiple people like last time? I suppose that could be possible. I mean, I'd have to make the proper adjustments. It sounds like a gaming PC. You can just put in a new graphics card or put some more RAM into it. It's fine, whatever you want. But if you did that, it would count as two wishes. Oh? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right, I'll begin right away. Well, cool. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. Wait, what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. All right, I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell games start. Huh? Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. Later. I mean, that's Goku for you. That's Goku as a father, that is. Well, he just leaves. Time to get looking. Now, we will do that in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on the notifications so you don't miss an upload. And yeah, take care and peace.